we want to get to Fire Commissioner Laura Cavanaugh now. She joins us on the phone to give us some more information about what is happening on Burnside Avenue. Commissioner, thank you for joining us. Um, can you please just tell us what is the latest from the scene? Are you hearing reports of anyone that might be trapped under that rubble or even in the building? Yeah, so this is the latest, you know, first and foremost, I want to emphasize this is a live scene. You know, we have our firefighters, our EMTs, and our medics through this rubble using our canine unit and locate anyone that could be under that. Um, we will presume with, with an occupied building that there could be someone there until we eliminate that possibility. So right now for us, we know that there was a major collapse. Uh, we know that there could be someone under there, although we haven't confirmed that, and we are doing everything in our power to make sure we can find them if they're there or to eliminate the possibility. Commissioner, can you describe what you're up against? I mean, we see it, but in, in terms of your expertise and how your, your crews go about their business here, what, what does it look like? You know, I would say this came in as a 1060, and what that means for the fire department is a serious collapse, and so we're taking it accordingly. You know, because our mission is life, until we confirm that some, a place like this was not occupied, we're gonna go to work. Um, so given that this is an active building, a building with commercial space and residential space, we're gonna presume there could be someone there and we're gonna operate like there, there is. Commissioner, are there any evacuations happening in and around this area? Um, so just in order to stay clear, obviously the building itself uh, is evacuated, but otherwise we're just asking residents to stay clear. As I said, this is an active scene and we wanna let the first responders go to work. At this point, you're obviously laser focused on finding people, but do you have any idea what could have happened here? We don't. Um, the DOB commissioner and his team are on scene, so when we are done with our search and rescue, uh, they will take over the investigation. Commissioner, can you tell us whether or not there was any road construction in this area going on? So I cannot. That'll be part of the investigation. You know, like I said, we're solely focused on making sure that we're finding any victims that could be there. Um, once we have completed our operation, a full investigation will take place. And one more thing here, Commissioner. We understand that you have an elite unit, well-trained, highly specialized in this kind of thing. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about them? Yes, so we have a number of specialized units. Um, our members actually drill and train on this regularly. We actually have a rubble pile at our academy for this very reason. Um, so we have a number of members that are specially trained in exactly this search and rescue in a collapse, search and rescue using canines, and for our EMTs and medics, for treating people even in the collapse or as soon as they get out. So this is something we do train for regularly. We have our best folks on the scene. Can you tell us about some of the tools that are being used at the scene there? We noticed a drone up in the air. What is that being used for? So a drone is so that we can see overhead, we can see what's going on. And in particular, in a situation like this, where it might be a large area, there might be areas of instability that our members can't get to. We wanna see whether or not we can see any victims or anything that could be a danger to the first responders uh, across the scene. So we use these drones both to find additional victims and to protect our first responders in these dangerous conditions. And we understand you also have um, canine dogs at the scene. Can you tell us what they're doing? Yeah, so they are trained in search and rescue. Um, they are specifically trained to help us narrow down the search area and point to where there could be someone. So they're trained in that and we're following their lead right now. Okay, FDNY Fire Commissioner Laura Kavanaugh, thank you for the insight. We uh, wish you the best going forward tonight. We really appreciate it. Thank you. We appreciate that. Thanks, Thank Commissioner. You.